Hey guys, my name is Scobie. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a robotic announcer voice in Audacity. It's going to be a nice quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to give you a quick example of what we're going to make in today's video, and then I'm going to be showing you step by step how to recreate it. So before we get into any steps, I also want to show you what it sounds like before we do any editing, and then I'm going to be showing you exactly how to get it done. Sector 7 is currently being breached. We must do something about this indefinite failure, otherwise we will be annihilated for all eternity. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is highlighting this track, and we're going to be copying it, and we're going to be making a duplicate of this track. So what you're going to do is click on the track over here on the left, or click Ctrl and A to select the entire track. Click Ctrl and V. We're going to be coming up to tracks. We're going to be adding a new stereo track, and now we're going to be clicking Ctrl and V to paste our track. Now that we have our second track created, we're going to be highlighting our second track by clicking the box on the left or highlighting the bottom track all the way across and we're going to be changing the pitch. We're going to be lowering the pitch to make it sound a lower toned voice to make it sound more robotic. We're going to be doing this by coming to effect and we're going to be going to change pitch. From here we're going to be lowering the percentage from anywhere from minus 10 to about minus 20. Usually I found anywhere from minus 10 to minus 20 works well for this. From here we're going to be adding an echo and usually I say don't add an echo, I usually say go for a reverb. But in this case an echo effect sounds much better in this robotic kind of announcer style voice. You're going to add a delay from anywhere from 0 0.02 to 0 0.05. We want basically a short delay, it's basically going to play straight away after. And we want a decay factor of 0.7 or 0.6. 0.7 is kind of worked a sweet spot for me but this is a little bit of trial and error to work for you you should also play around with the pitch settings when you're using this to make it sound good for your voice i'm going to click ok and we're going to give this a listen over sector 7 is currently being breached we must do something about this indefinite failure otherwise we will be annihilated for all eternity and that sounds pretty good we can tell that with the neutral voice it kind of makes it sound a little bit kind of very like robotic-y now if you want you can add another echo on top of this with a little bit less of a decay factor and it can sound much more robotic-y but be careful with this if your track is too loud it's going to go instantly to clipping mode so if you are going to repeat an echo process i'd recommend turning down maybe 5 10 decibels from clipping point so i'm going to be just adding another echo so you can give that a quick listen <laughs> So you can tell when I add that extra echo, it does like sharpen it up a lot more and make it much more robotic-y and evil-y. So if you are going for that kind of like broken robot effect, add an echo or two or maybe even three, depending on what you're looking for. And it can really help demonize your robotic voice and kind of give whatever effect you're going for. It's really a little bit of trial and error. And it's just a matter of playing around with it and seeing what you're really trying to get for your actual audio track. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this story, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new. I'm going to leave a link to my Audacity playlist in the description down below. If you want to check that out, be sure to do so. I'm also going to leave a link down below to my PayPal if you want to donate to the channel and support me. That would be awesome. Of course, there's no pressure if you can't. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.